pain levels. There is a reason you have to have or should have when you see a health professional for PRP, either a block, so a local anesthetic block of the entire scalp to numb the entire scalp, or topical numbing cream for 30 minutes before having the treatment, or both. Sometimes you have both of them offered to you. I've even heard of people having nitrous oxide gas to help get them through the treatment. It is not a pain-free treatment. It is the opposite. I've spoken to a number of patients over the year, over the years, and I've also had the treatment myself. And one of the rate limiting steps of people continuing with the program is it's just too painful. The pain becomes prohibitive. So if the pr practitioner is not blocking your pain well enough, it is something that you're going to have to endure through. And so microneedling on the other hand, it is something that now we have seen in studies that actually microneedling at shorter depths can score you better results than microneedling at bigger depths, say one to 1.5 millimeters. So that means you can actually have a far more tolerable treatment. Now you can microneedle at the depth of 0.5 or 0.6 of a millimeter with a derm pen and get great results and you don't have to endure it as much as you would if you're obviously doing it at a much deeper depths or doing something like PRP. And you do not have to use topical numbing cream. I have treated so many people over the years and I've never once had to use topical numbing cream or any anesthetics when treating their scalp with a microneedling device. And also myself, never had to use topical numbing cream. I even treated my darling sister who's got Down syndrome and she hates needles and she has never had to have topical numbing cream. She sits there having a laugh with me. And that just shows you how tolerable this treatment is for most people. So how would I rank PRP versus microneedling on a pain level? So PRP scores a one because it is incredibly painful and it involves you having to use some form of anesthetic, whether it be local or topical or both. And microneedling scores a four. It is incredibly tolerable. I've treated people anywhere from pediatric level all the way up to adults who are needle phobic and they tolerate this treatment really well. And you can adjust the depth to being slightly shorter and still achieve great hair restoration results.